when we formatted our device, it now has this. Same screen lock and this little padlock that appears in the upper left corner. Previously, when we reset our device, that padlock would appear, and we could access our device because it showed accessibility. But now, in some cases, on these updated devices, accessibility appears. But our device is still locked. We also had other methods where we could activate that tab. We could activate that tab and from there we could access Google Assistant, then Settings, and from Settings we could recover our device. Our phone. Now, these steps are no longer working. Doesn't. Since our phone has been updated, it Also, on some devices, we could enter the asterisk, number zero. And, by activating ADB debugging, we could. The program with a single click. Or we could put our phone in download mode. And with a program, with a single click, we could access our phone, but only as a last resort. As updates are released, our device's security also changes. If this is your case, I recommend watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't miss any details and can troubleshoot and recover your device. Let's click here, let's configure it. First of all, we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network before starting the recovery process. We're going to connect to a network. Okay, we'll connect to the network. We'll follow this process until we see that. The device is completely locked with the Google account and the screen lock it had from the beginning. When we reset it, it will revert to that same screen lock and Google account. Once we've fully recovered our device, I recommend watching the video tutorial to the end. After the recovery, our device might have some errors. So at the end of the video, I'll explain what those errors are. We also want to mention that in the video description and the first pinned comment, we have several methods, both with and without a PC. That said, this will take us directly to where the screen lock is. Once we see that the lock is still there, we'll see the option to use my Google account. Those who still know their email can enter their email and password, and then they'll be granted access. Recovering your device is one of the easiest and fastest ways to access it without watching the entire video tutorial. But let's say that's not your case. There's also the option if you remember your Gmail phone number. Enter it here, and it will send you a verification recovery code. Entering it will also give you access to recover your disk positive this other way. But let's say you don't know either of these steps. In that case, I recommend you pay close attention. In this video tutorial, we're going to use a tool on your PC. Before you run this tool, we always recommend temporarily disabling your antivirus so that it doesn't block it. Do that. Exactly as we explained. We'll give you all the instructions. Verbatim so you can follow along. Now, here on your PC, we're going to go to your antivirus, which is the first option for configuring it. We'll go here. On the left side, we'll find this shield. Let's click on that shield, 
which says virus and threat protection. Then we'll scroll down here. We'll see this option to activate it. Further down, in blue letters, it says manage settings. Let's click here on the first option. This one will appear in blue. You're going to deactivate the one that says real time protection. That's it. After we've deactivated it, we're going to go to Google. Let's search for Google here. Now we're going to type our official page here. Our official page is called Davicel. That would be our page. We're going to click here. Let's wait for it to focus properly. It seems like it's not focusing. Well, Okay, now we'll clear the lens. Let's go here in the browser and type this, David Cell, just like it appears on the screen, you. Re going to type it. Exactly like this. Then you'll see this page that appears here. That's the page we're going to select. It also says Davy Cell, or it might say Android TV. Don't worry, what we're going to do here is go down and you'll find many different methods. An updated method, you'll also be able to find it. Here, we're going to the last option here. To this entry that says, Apps Davicel, or, Applicaciones Davicel. You're going to select that entry, this would be the entry, we're going to select it. Then after we select it it will take you to this section. Here you'll also be able to find other methods. You'll be able to find many methods here, you'll also be able to find a lot. More tools here on the side, you'll scroll down. As you scroll down you'll find the tool further down. Right here you'll see the tool. You'll download it, once you've downloaded this tool. What you're going to do now is the following, I'll explain, download the tool. Here where you're going to download this tool you'll be able to find the drivers. You'll also find the password to extract the file. It will ask you for it. You're going to write it exactly as it appears there, all in capital letters. That said, after having done all that, what we're going to do is run the tool. We'll explain how to run it so that it gives you access. So when you extract the tool, you'll see this PC here. You're going to click on it, in fact, you're going to run it as administrator. This option will appear, you're going to click next. Next. Here you'll see this option that says shortcut. It's going to create the shortcut tool. Now, when we click here on finish, the tool will. It will run correctly on its own automatically. In some cases, if your antivirus is active, it might activate. If it blocks it, disable your antivirus and run it again. When you see this option, click here where it says, Log in, then. Click, Open. Now we'll wait for the tool to open automatically. Once the tool opens, we'll follow this process. In this video tutorial, we'll use the MediaTek processor. Here we can see that processor, we have Qualcomm Unisoft. Here we have our phone models. As we mentioned, we'll use the MediaTek processor. Here are the drivers, you can install the MediaTek driver. Here we have this last driver, I always recommend installing it. We install this driver, and a screen like. This will appear. How do we know if we have the drivers installed correctly? I'll explain. If you have it installed correctly, you'll see these three options. Click here where it says, Remove. Then click, Next, and the driver will appear. MTK. The media tech will appear here. You'll go back. If it doesn't appear there, 
then click here on install we'll click next now when we do the recovery process when we connect the device it will appear here when it appears here select it quickly and click here on install this has to be quick because it sometimes takes three to five seconds now we go here to this option in services then we'll click here where it says resfrp we have two options the one at the bottom and the one in the middle i like to select the one in the middle first now what we're going to do is turn off the device we turn it off and once it's completely off we wait 10 seconds all we're going to do is connect it for those who don't have the drivers installed pay attention to this option that will appear select it and click install we click it insert the device while it's off and that's it we wait for it to complete its entire process here you'll see the whole process well here my screen turned blue let's let's see what error we got here well my pc restarted here so don't worry your device won't turn off with this process okay we've run it a second time it seems the antivirus is messing things up it seems the antivirus is having problems it seems the antivirus is letting us run the tool let's try again let's do it again Okay, let's do it again. If we go back and see that the antivirus blocks us again, we LL have to run it in a second, on a second PC. Let's connect the device. Let's see if it works this time. We got an error here. Okay, we're not going to turn on the phone. We'll turn it on and then turn it off again by pressing volume up and volume down, and then we'll repeat the process to get it out of this mode. Sometimes it gets stuck, so we'll turn it off, turn it on, and try the process again. Okay, let's turn it off and wait 10 seconds. We're going to click here on FRP for those of you we told that. If the driver appears here, click on it and then click on install. We're going to reconnect the device. Let's see, we can recover it completely now. We connect it, let's wait, let's wait. It seems we'll have to change PCs. Let's change PCs. Okay, we've changed PCs. We're going to do the process now from here. We're going to connect it. Let's wait for the program to recognize it to see if it lets us recover our device from here. This PC will also restart. Here we can see that it's now completing the process with this PC, since that other PC. Well, I have an error on that PC, and I need to correct that error, which isn't appearing on the laptop. So, I have this alternative. I have another PC available, and as we can see, the device has restarted. Here we've completed this process. Here it says, FRP reset successful. So, we're going to wait for the charging logo to disappear. Since it's disconnected. We'll wait a few seconds, it still has a blue screen. Let's wait. Now, we press the power button and the volume down button at the same time. We wait for it to vibrate. When it vibrates for the first time. We'll wait, and now. We just press the power button to turn on our device. Now I'm going to explain one of the easiest and fastest ways to configure our phone. Because sometimes we encounter some errors and I'm going to explain how we're going to correct those errors on our phone. It's one of the easiest and fastest ways to correct these errors. Which is why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. So you don't miss any details of this recovery and can solve it as we See in this video tutorial.
I got that error where my PC kept restarting. I already have an error, so I have to correct it. To avoid making this video tutorial too long, let's go to the second PC. We're going to configure it. We'll click next. We'll finish configuring it. We'll click add. We'll click here, then manual here. We disable the Wi-Fi network. We're going to disable that network. Now we're going to click skip. We click skip. We click don't copy. We click skip. We click skip. We click here. We're going to click finish. We're going to finish the process. We'll wait for it to start. Okay, here we're going to click finish. We're going to click finish. To correct the errors, we're going to go to settings. Then we go to about phone. We click reset. Here we go to the last option, which says factory data reset. Then, when our phone restarts, we'll have a device completely free of any errors.